am using my camera to video parts of this day and so the quality is not going to be very good. I, I really don't know what goes on with my camera sometimes whenever I'm trying to record inside. But anyways, um, this is probably a week and a half from Christmas. And since we have had quite a, uh, I guess I would say challenging December, I was feeling really guilty that we really hadn't decorated our Christmas tree. And um, the kids were looking forward to making a lot of treats and cookies to decorate and things. And we just, none of my plans for this Christmas season really had happened or worked out. So I was feeling guilty. Everybody was feeling kind of better. I was still not feeling great, but the kids were starting to feel better. So I wanted to do something Christmassy to lift their spirits. So we've had lights on the tree, but not any ornaments. And so I had all of these Christmas cards that we had been having come in. And so instead of the ornaments and trying to go find those, I decided we would put the Christmas cards on the Christmas tree. And so they had fun doing that. It's actually my third year to do that. Um, the last couple of years I mixed in Christmas cards and ornaments. And so this year we did just the Christmas cards. But the kids had a lot of fun looking at all the pictures and, um, and reading them and everything. So um, it helped me feel a little bit better since they were really excited to be able to do that. So while we've been sick, everything outside has definitely kind of you know, been on the back burner. So I'm, I have been feeding the chickens every day, but um, not as much as they're really used to eating just because I, I really didn't feel good enough to be going out there. And Bryant had been trying to help me, but I mean, there were several days that he wasn't able to be around. So since the kids are feeling much better, you can see they're in the background riding the side by side around. And uh, they're side by side, not like <laughs> an adult side by side. But um, I'm able to deal with the chickens, get them some fresh water, feed them. Um, I only have two hens old enough to lay eggs right now. So I'm going to see if they've given us any on this day. And one of them has stayed consistent, but um, the one Americana I have left, she's a little iffy on if she's going to give us anything. So I'm very anxious for January and February because those are the months that my younger girls are supposed to start laying for the first time. So I am excited and anxious looking forward to that. So here I'm just, I, I still don't really feel great, but seeing that the kids are so much better, it really helps me to feel a lot better because that weight is lifted off my shoulders. Um, for the chicken coop, we do the deep litter method. And with us not feeling well, I haven't really been able to put um, fresh bedding on top of everything. And so the coop does need a, a need a little TLC. And so I am just have the rake here and I'm just raking everything and getting it all mixed up. And um, it helps it to smell fresh again just to kind of bury all of the waste that they have sitting on top. So when we are sick, we do stay away from all sweets and all dairy. Um, but it had been, uh, you know, like I said, most of December. We weren't all sick together, but we were taking turns being sick. And it, it was like three weeks, basically a month, starting from really after Thanksgiving. So I wanted to make them some cookies that they could decorate. And we have been staying away from sweets. And so I was like, you know what? They're feeling better. I know they need to wait a little longer, but... We have not done anything really fun for Christmas, and this is a boosting their spirits kind of day, and so I'm going to do sugar cookies. But I did sourdough sugar cookies. So this is a recipe that I kind of adapted, and it's from the Simply Sourdough, the Alaska Way uh, recipe book, and it's by Kathy Dugan. I will put that in the description. And it's three-fourths cup of butter, which is one and a half sticks. And I did um, have it melting in the oven on low while I'm mixing everything together. Then it's one cup of sugar. I did use regular cane sugar. Two eggs. One teaspoon of vanilla, which I did half a teaspoon of the vanilla bean powder. But you do want to do one teaspoon of vanilla extract if you're doing the liquid version. Um, it's a half a cup of sourdough starter, three cups of flour, half teaspoon baking soda, 
one teaspoon of salt, which I actually did half a teaspoon of salt because my butter is salted a little bit. And, um, and then you can do a frosting to put on top. I did not want to add any added sugar to this. And so we didn't do frosting and I didn't have any, um, really any sprinkles like I thought I was going to have. So what I ended up doing was I had some healthy version of um, candy canes. It's the no corn syrup and everything. And so we actually end up crushing those up and sticking those on top. But anyways, first for the batter, I'm mixing everything here. I did first go ahead and I whisked up the eggs and sugar and butter and all of that. And then I added my dry ingredients on top of it. And I did do it all in the same bowl to make it easy. So I whisked it up and then when it starts getting thicker, I go ahead and I fold the rest of it by hand. I don't want to mix this up too much because it will make the cookies get bready. And sourdough cookies can be a little more on the bready side naturally because it's it's sourdough it's a little different texture so I don't want to work with this dough a little too much because it will form the gluten and make this a little more bready so I'm wrapping this in the saran wrap and then I'm going to stick this in the fridge you can stick it in the fridge for several hours up to a whole day a whole day if you're really wanting to get um, that flour nice and fermented would be better I, this is like a couple of hours after it had been sitting in the fridge and um, I, I just I wanted to go and I only did a portion I probably did like a third of the dough I had made that I'm rolling out here I just cut a third off and I'm rolling it um, with my rolling pin on some parchment paper here and um, you know I just waited that couple of hours to go ahead and, and get the dough firm but it's still a good time for the kids to be able to work with it and um, the rest of it I mean we still it's like a week later we still have dough in the fridge that that I need to roll out and let the kids go ahead and finish up and we'll we'll decorate them this time with some chocolate and some icing since everybody is a lot better but um, here I'm picking out Leland went and got these out of the drawer and so these are our cookie cutters and so everybody's gonna pick some cookie cutters that they want we are trying to make Christmas cookies Anna does pick a turkey and a pumpkin so we just rolled with it it was fine. I just want everybody to have fun. And, you know, this is about boosting their spirits because everybody's had a hard few weeks. And so I want them to be happy and um, let them be able to do and have the freedom to do whatever it is that they're wanting to do to decorate these because these are their cookies. So here the boys are cutting the cookies out and I am moving them over to another parchment paper that I'm going to be um slipping on top of another cookie sheet that whenever I stick it in the oven. And so we're, um, Leland favored the, what is, I think it's candy cane cookie cutter. I keep wanting to say it's a stocking, but it's not, but he favored the candy cane cookie cutter. So we had a lot of candy canes, but we did make sure we get, we got other shapes in there too. So this is where I'm crushing up that candy cane and we're going to use these as our sprinkles. So, uh, and they, yes, they are eating raw cookie dough. Everybody's attacking the cookie dough, but it's perfectly fine. First of all, it's sourdough. Second of all, it, you know, it's, it's good ingredients. Yes, it has raw egg, but hey, we're, we're willing to do that. Um, so here we're, uh, we're pinching <clears throat> some of that crushed up candy cane and I'm sprinkling on there and then pushing it down to make sure they don't fall off. <clears throat> I still have drainage. Um, cause I, I want it to bake in the cookie and not just fall off and sit lightly on top. Cause I don't want it to come off whenever we take everything off the cookie sheet. So I'm showing Leland here how to just sprinkle it. And then we're going to lightly push it into the dough because we don't want to flatten the dough, but we want to make sure that the candy cane is stuck in the dough pretty good so it can bake up. So this is just how we decorated our cookies. We didn't do too much extra sugar. We didn't covered in icing. We didn't put a lot of chocolate. Sometimes we'll dip part of it in chocolate and then sprinkle some sprinkles on top of that. But we did it really simple and sweet and they had a fun time and that was the whole point of doing this today. This is how they came out. They didn't last very long on this cookie sheet. So I hope y'all try this recipe because we do enjoy these cookies like this.